let us see the development of embryo so we have seen that internal fertilization in the human female reproductive system when this ovum the female gamete reaches this fallopian tubule so at the same time if the male gamete reaches the fallopian tubule here the fertilization takes place and zygote is formed now what happens to this zygote how this zygote develops into the baby so the zygote after formation it undergoes so many divisions and it forms a group of cells a mass of cells now it is called as embryo so zygote is only one cell that cell divides further and finally becomes into an embryo so the embryo it comes to the uterus and it get fixed in the uterus it attaches to the wall of the uterus by some special tissue called as placenta so this placenta it provides support nutrition to this embryo so the embryo is fixed in the placenta of the wall of the uterus so we call this process as implantation implantation takes place in the uterus now the embryo it undergoes differentiation that means the embryo it divides and divides and produces hundreds and hundreds of cells these cells differentiate some cells develop into hand some develop into leg some develop into stomach some develop into brain some develop into liver some into lungs so likewise different organs external as well as internal organs of the baby are developed from the embryo it will take time some 270 280 days of time for the development of embryo to the baby so the when the embryo is developed with different parts we call it as fetus fetus and we call the total uh, process is that pregnancy so the pregnancy the total time for the development the period of development of embryo to the baby is called as gestation period gestation period so what is the gestation period is 272 to 280 days in humans that is 9 months so after implantation the embryo develops into fetus fetus develops into a complete baby when the complete baby is developed the baby is born out so this is how young ones offspring are produced in mammals like humans so here it is internal fertilization fertilization takes place inside the body of female and after fertilization the zygote develops into embryo embryo develops into fetus the embryo it gets implanted in the uterus it attaches to the wall of uterus by a special tissue called placenta so there it is provided with all the nutrients and every uh, thing required oxygen and everything so it grows up in size develops into a baby the resemblance of children to their parents so here we may think that the formation of the female gamete and fertilization and development of the baby everything takes place in the mother's reproductive system so all babies are just resembling only their mother or do they have any resemblances with their father we find the resemblances with mother as well as with father we see babies having characteristics of mother as well as father so how this happens we know that in reproduction male gamete female gamete both should fuse to form the zygote this will have a nucleus this will have a nucleus we know that our characteristics are decided and our characteristics are um, preserved in nucleus so the male gamete which is having a nucleus the nucleus will have the store of characteristics it is just like some floppy disk or a, like a hard disk or a pen drive which contain all the details how we use in a computer in the same way this nucleus will contain the different characteristics of the father that is male and this nucleus will contain the characteristics of that mother that is the female so when these two nuclei are combined to form a combined nucleus in the zygote it will possess different characteristics 
both the father and mother characteristics so the children they will have resemblances either of their mother or father some children in appearance they may look like their father some children may uh, look like their mother in their external appearance but in their behavioral traits and characters so they may be looking like uh, their mother or father so in this way they share the characteristic features so sometimes we think that the child is exactly like his father in all the ways that means he is uh, having all the dominant characters he got it from the father see he might be having the characteristics which he acquired from the mother but those characteristics are recessive so that are, that are not shown out so in such a way children will have resemblance to their parents external fertilization so we have seen that in snakes lizards and mammals internal fertilization takes place male gametes are introduced into the female body where the fertilization takes place but in some cases like frogs amphibians like frog fertilization takes place outside their bodies outside so it is called as external fertilization the fertilization which takes place outside the body of the organism then we call it as external fertilization so how it takes place so when a frog copulates with another frog so the female frog it releases the eggs into the water and the male frog it releases the male cells both will fuse together to form zygotes so it takes place in the external environment both are releasing their cells male cells female cells into the environment what is the environment in water so inside the water male and female cells are fused to form the zygote so here fertilization takes place but this is external not not happening in the body of either male or female it's totally outside the their bodies we call it as external fertilization so in mammals after fertilization the zygote is taken care the zygote is converted to embryo embryo to fetus fetus to that complete baby and takes birth so complete care and protection is given inside the body of female in case of mammal but let us see how in this case of uh, this frogs how that zygotes are developed to young ones let us look at the life cycle of frog 